Hey everybody, welcome back. I've had a couple requests for me to make a video similar to what I did for my Sharpstar 61 EDPH2 telescope, but this time for my dual imaging rig that uses a pair of Canon EF lenses. So this type of setup allows me to collect twice the amount of data in a single night with a single mount. In my case, because I have identical image trains, I can take all of those images and merge them together to create a single final photo. Sometimes I just collect a bunch of RGB, and other times I do both narrowband and broadband. All right, you asked for it, so here it is. Let's dive in. Here's my current configuration of my dual imaging rig. This rig uses two imaging trains simultaneously, each having a Canon 200mm f2.8L2 USM EF prime focus lens attached. I tend to shoot these lenses at f4, as f2.8 gives me some bloated stars. While f4 gives me tighter stars, large stars produce diffraction spikes due to the aperture mechanism in the lens. Each imaging train has its own Astromechanics Canon EF lens focuser that communicates via ASCOM. They are threaded to accept one and a quarter inch filters. I am using Astronomic CLS CCD and ZWO Duo filters at this time. I'm using a pair of ASI 183 MC Pro cameras from ZWO. Depending on the target, I will either capture both RGB and narrowband simultaneously, or double up on the RGB data collection. For guiding, I am using the ASI 290mm mini camera and 30mm mini guide scope from ZWO. Depending on my target and needs, I have the option to enable synchronized dithering within NINA 1.10. Synchronized dithering is not always required, but I have found increasing my dithering frequency dramatically reduces noise and other imaging issues and artifacts. For dew prevention, I have installed AstroZap dew straps on both Canon lenses as well as the ZWO guide scope. I have custom cut the dew straps power leads to minimize the amount of cords on this compact mount and limit any potential for cable snags. The shortened cords are attached to an Orion Dew Zapper Pro 4 channel dew controller. I have mounted a mini stick PC to the rig as well. This PC runs my entire imaging session and is controlled as needed from indoors over Wi Fi using Microsoft RDP for remote access. Since the stick PC only has two USB 3 ports, I've added a 7 port powered USB 3 hub as well. Since the mini stick PC I am using is native 5 volt power, I'm using a small 12 volt to 5 volt DC voltage converter to eliminate the need for a power brick and standardize on 12 volt DC. As mentioned, all cables have been custom cut to length. This includes dew strap power leads, all 12 volt DC power cabling, and even my USB EQ Direct serial cable for controlling my mount. Of course, all other USB cables were also replaced with the shortest possible off the shelf option. As far as remaining hardware, I am using a ZWO ASI holder ring to attach my guide camera, two ADM-V ring and bar systems to attach both imaging trains, an ADM side-by-side -side mounting bar to connect to my mount, and a custom cut and drilled Lexan plate to attach remaining components via Velcro. Keep your video requests coming in. I'm planning a number of other videos, including several on Nina and some other hardware as well. Let me know what else you wanna see, and as always, like and subscribe, and share any of these videos that you found helpful that may help others. As always, have a great day, have a great night, and clear skies.